If you are new to employment services, you may have many questions about your role. This video provides an overview of six key employment functions. When beginning to work with a new client, your first encounters will focus on intake and assessment. During intake, start by introducing yourself and building rapport. You will gather eligibility documents and information about the client's household in a confidential manner. After intake, the next step is assessment. This is an opportunity to establish a relationship with the client and learn about their past employment, skills, background, barriers to employment, and readiness to work in the United States. Intake and assessment can usually be completed in one or two meetings. You should also use these sessions to review the client's digital literacy skills and collaboratively decide the best way to communicate going forward. This might include virtual methods, if appropriate and permitted by your agency. In many employment programs, staff support clients with budgeting and financial literacy. Your work in this area will likely involve helping the client create a pre-employment budget that outlines potential income and expenses. Financial literacy also includes an understanding of the U.S. banking system, different types of income, and government benefits. Remember to include all of the adults in each case when providing budgeting and financial literacy services, even if they do not all intend to work. For some clients, budgeting and financial literacy conversations can take place over the phone or via virtual meeting. If in person, you can provide a hands-on experience where the client completes a budget template to take home. Another key employment service is Job Readiness Training, or JRT. This training helps prepare clients to enter the workforce. It typically covers subjects like the U.S. job cycle, employment rights related to wages, documents, discrimination and harassment, payroll, pay stubs, taxes and benefits, communication with employers or managers, and resume building. Your agency may have standard JRT materials for you to use. If not, you can explore materials available on the Switchboard website. When clients have strong digital literacy skills, they may be able to review job readiness resources remotely. In these cases, it is recommended to schedule a follow-up call to go over materials together and answer any questions. In-person JRT can take place in a group setting with other clients. Each organization organizes its training differently, but offering multiple days, times, and formats can make the training accessible to as many clients as possible. Now let's talk about job development. Job development is an ongoing priority for employment services staff. It involves establishing and maintaining mutually beneficial relationships with local employers. Meeting employers and understanding their needs will help you locate job openings that may be a good fit for your clients. Switchboard offers resources on employer outreach and job development that you may find useful. After a client completes intake, assessment, pre-employment budgets, and job readiness training, your focus will turn to job placement. Your earlier intake and assessment and your ongoing relationships with employers will help you identify jobs that align with the client's strengths, skills, needs, and preferences. Communicate frequently with the client about their job prospects. You may use email, text messages, or phone calls. The client might also request in-person meetings to discuss topics like applying for jobs, preparing for interviews, or getting to work locations by car or public transit. It may take new job seekers some time to secure their first jobs in the U.S. Ensure that the client fully understands the timelines and requirements of the employment program in which they are enrolled. Once a client has secured a job, your focus should be post-placement assistance, including post-employment budgeting. Due to the client's work schedule, it may be most convenient to provide these services remotely. Where digital literacy is a barrier, make time to meet in person. When providing post-placement assistance, you will go over the pre-employment budget, talk with the client about any expenses that have arisen, and review topics such as payroll schedule and bill due dates. At this time, you may also introduce topics such as saving, investing, and credit. Continue to check in periodically with the client. 
ask how they are enjoying the job, and if there are any questions or concerns. Help address any issues that the client or employer may have raised. Over time, continue to provide support necessary for the client's career development. While there is much to learn about your new role, you now know six key functions in employment services. For more resources that will help you in your work, visit www.switchboardta.org.